Hi everybody, it's Caroline here and welcome back to my channel. And today I am putting together my first project with the new Tracy Reed Designs collection and it is called Fierce. And this is jam packed full of rainbow colours. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, bright, bright colours. Rainbows everywhere because this is Tracy's Pride collection and it is fantastic. There are loads of banners, loads and loads and loads of Pride icons, gorgeous rainbows everywhere. Um, it's fantastic, it's really really good. And the Traveller's Notebook signatures are brilliant. I've actually printed my papers at the moment at Traveller's Notebook size, but I think I may go back to my printer and print some larger because today I'm going to be working on a 12 by 12 white cardstock background. Tracy's collections are all printable and when I work with them at this larger 12x12 format I tend to, well I always, <laughs> work with a white or a cardstock background anyway because I don't have a large format printer so I don't let that hold me back, I don't um, I don't get stuck, I just work with a, a plain cardstock background in any colour. I've got quite a, um, a bundle of cardstock still in my stash, so this is the only time it really tends to come out. Um, and then I just layer up um, from there. So I'm going to be scrapbooking um, two photo strips, which I still need to cut out at the moment, um, of my daughter and her best friend. Um, and not sure at all where I'm going to go with this project. Not sure, I haven't got a sketch to work with or even an idea in my mind at the moment. All I know is I've got the entire collection. Um, I've still got to print up some of the die cuts because this collection actually comes with five sheets of die cuts. Loads and loads of really supportive and lovely um, sentiment pieces. Those icons, like I said, and then just rainbows and hearts. So it's really, really versatile. Lots and lots as well of um, journal spots um, and label stickers. So you can use it for pride stories, you can use it for supportive stories, you can use it just for lovely, lovely stories. And I've actually already printed this paper twice because I'm going to use this for um, a story for myself. I'm going to put those two together either like that or like that and add that into my traveller's notebook, uh, my disc bound traveller's notebook. So I'm really excited to use lots and lots of this. Look at this rainbow. Look at that rainbow. Um, so I'm really excited to use um, this um, collection and to see where I go with it. Um, but first of all, I'm going to print, uh, sorry, cut these out and have a little bit of a, a play off camera before I speed things up and start to put things together and see where this is going to take me. Okay, so I know I want to work with a strip of coloured um, a pattern paper along the centre of my white cardstock. Because I haven't got that large format printer, I am making sure that I'm using a pattern that I can extend. So print it out twice, join in the middle, and then I will cover the join with some more layers of pattern paper. Um, I was intending originally for the design with it to be over there on the right hand side. Um, but I do is shift things over, move that um, joining line over to the left more, and then build my page from over there. So these these um, photos are really fun. They're on a photo booth kind of style. I did them with my um, selfie printer. Um, they come with that white background with the slightly thicker bit at the bottom. So um, lots of white there as a frame. And I'm going to pair that with a photo mat to make them pop. The girls are showing off their matching um, t-shirts. So I'm going to go with a blue polka dot, a kind of royal blue, which really, really um, works amazingly well to help the, um, the photos pop and it helps to kind of ground everything. There's going to be lots of rainbow, lots of cheerfulness in this um, project. And this collection is just jam packed full of um, a rainbow, as you would expect from a pride collection. Um, I was a bit disappointed there that I didn't get these to line up perfectly. Um, I was worried that I might have to go and reprint, but then um, the um, paper layers that are going to sit on top of these are going to be so wide that actually you, you're not going to know that there's a slight discrepancy in the way things line up. Bringing in that royal blue paper here and making sure that I stick the photos down to it so that I've got a little bit of the blue in the centre to help them to pop up even more. And then just trimming things down um, so that there's a slight edge of colour all around these photos, including at the bottom. And then I'm going to just start building my clusters from there. I've got that um, light blue, this one here, this light blue and rainbow, which makes me think of Care Bears from the 80s. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've got that 
it um, printed out because um, or, or selected because it really really matches the um, the motif on their t-shirts you can't see that motif particularly well on any of these photos but I am going to pair this with another um, another uh, project where you will see the motif and I will probably print this paper again so that I can use it on that um, facing page so that, that it won't be a kind of double page spread but the two will coordinate really really well together so just at the moment just tucking things down not adhering anything down um, too much because I want to be able to move things around and what I'm looking for now are some um, different um, papers that I can use as border strips so I'm going to bring out a couple of different border punches to have two strips one above this um, horizontal pattern paper and one below I've decided to go with that kind of um, rich orangey yellow color and also the green I just saw I, I kind of toyed with the idea of just matting the whole thing um, with both of those um, with one of the papers so that the same border strip was at the top and the bottom uh, but I decided since this is the first project that I've made with Fierce and I've got lots and lots of papers and again it's a printable collection so I don't know what I'm worried about I can just print it all again if I wanted to um, but I have decided to bring in two colors just to showcase even more of the rainbow color and more of the different patterns that come with the collection sticking this down along the center now i'm going to start building my layers up um, offsetting things for um, just that little bit of interest and so that things don't look too blocky which can often happen um, i find when i'm just working with um, basically rectangles of paper so making things just that little bit more offset um, helps for added interest and it also showcases the patterns a little bit um, better I'm toying with the idea of adding in another layer between the two blues, but before I worry about that, I'm just going to print, um, sorry, I'm just going to punch out my two border strips. Um, one of these is a Fiskars and one is an EK Success, I think. Um, the larger one is the EK Success and the smaller scallop with the um, hole that's punched out as well is an old Fiskars punch. I love this one, it's my favourite punch, but I might have to buy a new one of it soon because there's a bit of um, kind of oil residue that's coming through. I, I, at one point it got stuck so my husband fixed it for me with some oil but unfortunately it sometimes leaves some little dark marks on some of those inner um, hole punches so I'm going to see how it goes and if it's too problematic I'll end up having to treat myself to a new punch which would be such a shame. Um, so I'm just layering, um, lining up where things are going to go and again extending the um the strip by making sure it's going to go underneath of the uh, some of the layers so that i don't need to punch a second row of uh, border strip i can just m give the illusion that this um, strip continues underneath the paper layer when you know and i know that actually it doesn't that it's just um, an illusion and that it's actually um, just one 8.25 high piece of paper that happens to get run the whole 12 by 12 um, width. Now that I've done that I'm going to start sticking down my larger paper layers. Um, I do have a bit of a struggle here because I really did want something between these two um, blues. They work really well together, they're from the same collection but I just wanted more colour so I'm going to be moving around different bits of paper trying to decide what to do. I really love that rainbow heart, it works really really well with the um, diagonal that I've got in the background, lots and lots of fun. So I've decided to put it behind the um, rainbow paper rather than on top of it so although it still isn't um, doing what I'd originally intended and which was to break up those two blues it is bringing in yet another pattern and yet another um, colour um, which helps just for um, some additional prettiness on this page I really wanted a fun cheerful page um, to kind of celebrate and honour the fun cheerful photos that the girls took with each other um, so that's what I'm doing here just cutting and trimming down the um, heart paper again into two pieces so that it can extend um, underneath the um, paper layers on the top so it has that illusion of one block of paper. I could print this so that I've got all of that paper just basically underneath the layers um, but even with products that I um, if papers if I would bought these papers I would definitely be trying to stretch my stash um, and even though these are printables there's no need for me to waste all that paper underneath um, because at the end of the day I've bought the paper and I've bought the ink and so I like to stretch my stash as much as possible by doing things like this it's a good technique to do to um, make your, your, um, your stash last for longer. 
I'm really happy with the way this is starting to come together but it is starting to feel a little bit blocky for me so I did end up going um, off camera for a little while walking away having a cup of coffee and then coming back to see what it was that I could do to make things a little bit different and I decided to bring in the title before I do anything else just so that I know what kind of space I'm working with I'm going to go with a bold title in some black alphas and then once I've got that bold title down I decide to um, use one of the banner, the flag banners that comes in the Fierce collection up on the top right for a more organic shape, which really, really helps. I toyed with the idea of putting it above the title, but it didn't pop as much as I wanted to, whereas on that white cardstock, it looks absolutely brilliant. I did think about printing it out and cutting it a second time so that I could um, kind of create a whole garland up there. Um, but I didn't do that. Um, I kind of wish I had because I think it would have looked amazing to just have a whole load of garlands and flags above these photos. But it's it's good just as it, as it is. Um, and so I'm starting to bring in some additional embellishment down on the bottom right. I'm going to add in the number 17 um, because this was the Laura's 17th birthday. Popping the flags up on pop dots for just that additional um, texture and that additional level of interest. Um, I find that um, adding some pop dots in when I'm working with a printable collection really helps because it just helps to give the illusion um, of some... Um, different textures and different heights because I'm not um, making my own chipboard or anything like that so the pop dots really help um, to lift things up a little bit. Just putting the finishing touches together by finally um, finding a layer to put between those two blue papers and that is a border strip from one of the 3 by 4 cards which just helps to bring in that rainbow pop and also break up the blues. I'll be adding in a journaling um, tag to go onto the top of that to add in my journaling. Um, finishing things up with some ink and a few sparkles and then that one will be done. And that is the finished layout. I've added in some sparkle gems, a couple of puffy heart stickers, and a puffy rainbow sticker there. I've also added in a good spattering of um, ink in um, tangerine, lemon zest, and the bubblegum pink, which has nearly all run out now. Um, I'm not too sure about this kind of space here. Um, I was planning, as I said, on putting another banner down here, so I may um, print that, um, print and cut another one of these, and kind of make a zigzag. But as it is, I really like it. I like the, um, I love this kind of rainbow um, diagonal stripe anyway, um, and so it's quite nice just to have that bit of breathing space, lots of bright, cheerful colour. I'm really glad that I thought to um, cut out that journal card and add that in there just to break things up a little bit, and really, really happy with this. So um, I'll make sure I pop a link to Tracy's shop in the description box below so you can pick yourself up a copy of Fierce while it is on sale. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, please subscribe. I would love to um, see you here for more of my videos in the future. So thank you for watching and take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.